Hey there, and welcome to this advanced texture sharing tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at texture sharing and the advanced output. Additionally, we'll have a look at real world examples of texture sharing. If you have no idea what texture sharing is, you should watch our Siphon, Spout or NDI videos before moving on. During this tutorial, I'll be switching around between a MacBook and a Windows device. So I will be using Siphon, Spout and NDI. With that out of the way, let's get started. In this first use case, I want to demonstrate the advanced output with a simple project. Imagine that I need to get my show director a monitor of my composition and he is on the other side of the venue and we are going for an NDI solution. Unfortunately, the network connection is not that great. To improve stability, I need to lower the bandwidth use. To do this, I will be streaming a low 480p resolution version of my high 4K resolution composition over NDI. Let's start by opening the output menu and enter the advanced output. Note that you do not need to enable NDI for this method to work. I will make a new screen and rename it appropriately. Next we're setting the device to NDI. To scale it down to 480p, I will set the height and width to the correct values for my content, which are in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. To improve the bandwidth further, I will disable the alpha channel. The final optimization we can do is setting the bit depth to YUV 8 bit. This is the most compressed bit depth that Arena supports. All that is left to do now is to move to the output transformation and make sure the output is scaled to our new resolution. Let's move over to the machine of our creative overlord. On the machine, he is running the NDI video monitor app. He can now pick the low res stream and get a 480p version of our 4K composition. After that last example, I thought it might be useful to know that you can not only stream your composition, but also groups and layers. In this example, we have a content group and a logo group. Let's assume that I only want to stream the content group. In the advanced output, simply make sure that the input source of your slice is set to the desired group, layer, monitor or crossfader and you're good to go. Here I am back at the NDI video monitor and we can see our group output without the logos. Here's a quick tip for all our wire users. The texture in node can receive siphon and spout streams. This can be useful when you are creating effects and want to test your patch with your Arena or Avenue content. Here I'm working on a patch while Arena is running a couple of clips. I've gone the extra mile here and set up a custom Arena composition with a wide range of clips. I'm using a MIDI controller here to switch between the clips so I can quickly test how different styles of videos will look in my effect. Here's another quick tip when working with texture sharing sources. If you are running multiple servers on your network or device, you can swap them in the source. Simply navigate to the clip panel, find the server's parameter and swap your server. Here I am using NDI, but this works the same on Siphon and Spout. A common use for texture sharing is to send the output of Arena to an application like Touch Designer or Vuo. There you will process the Arena content and finally send it back to Arena. In this example, we're going to send a layer from Arena to Vuo and back to Arena. I'll start by adding a clip to one of my layers. Next, we move over to the advanced output. Here I have made a screen with a slice. The slice takes layer 1 as its input. The screen is set to output its content to siphon. We're almost done setting up Arena. Next, we create a group for layer 1 to live in. This way we can mute the group instead of the layer. We'll come back to why this is important later. Moving over to Vuo, we got a project with a receive siphon video node. The node is set to grab screen 2 from Arena, the one we just set up. The Vuo project takes the siphon stream and maps it onto a sphere before being sent out over siphon again. Back in Arena, we create a new clip by double clicking on the clip handle. We're looking for the Vuo siphon server. And there we have our texture mapped onto a sphere. Now let's get back to the layer opacity versus group opacity. 
If we lower the clip opacity, we also lower the output to siphon. This is why we have made a group. Since the layer is being sent to screen 2 and not the group, we can discard the group while maintaining the layer opacity. By going back and forth between the arena and VO projects, we can do all sorts of cool stuff like this explosion to either the VO project or the source content in arena. Here is the same concept, but this time we are using Touch Designer and Spout. The layer group dynamic of the previous example is applied just like before. And in Touch Designer, we use the siphon spout in and out nodes to receive and send our texture streams. Back in Arena, we create a new spout server and look for Touch Designer. This method can be applied to most applications doing a round trip from Arena to set application and back to Arena. In our previous two examples, we used groups to route our streams. This is advantageous when you want to blend the source material with the streamed round trip content. But groups are limited to Resolume Arena and the flexible blending options might not always be required. So allow me to show you a similar method that does not require groups and therefore works in Resolume Avenue 2. I'll start out by adding a clip. Next we move to the output menu and select the advanced output. I will set the screen to siphon. In the slice we set the input source to layer 3 our top layer. Next we disable the input opacity. This means that the texture stream ignores the opacity setting. By doing so, we can reduce the opacity of layer 3 to 0 without lowering the opacity of our siphon stream. Next we need an application to receive and process our siphon stream. For this example I will use EboSuite. I will set up EboSuite to receive our avenue screen. Next, I will add an effect and tweak it to my liking. And to round it up, I will send the stream back out. Back in Avenue, I will add the EboSuite Siphon server to an empty clip and we've made the round trip, without the need for groups. And that was it for this advanced texture sharing tutorial. Please let us know in the comments how you are using texture sharing in your workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.